Two years ago, I got a call from a close friend. His voice was shaky. He didn't sound the same. He told me, Hesh, I don't see the point of life anymore. There's so much suffering all around us. And I feel guilty for the privileged life that I'm leading just because I happen to be a winner in the lottery of birth. May I please ask you to take a moment to take a close look at the four people seated or standing next to you. One of them is going to face a mental illness before slush of 2018. Worse yet, in developing countries such as mine, seeking health care for mental illness is still highly stigmatized. There are mi millions right now suffering, alone in silence, not getting the care that they deserve. ODOC is an app that discreetly connects you with a doctor for video consultation and care. And you can do this from the privacy of your own home. We approached this as a design problem, and it resulted in an award-winning app that was simple and beautiful. ODOC is a doctor-first platform that's designed for trust. Last month, we helped over 1,100 people, and we are growing at over 10% week on week. At the end of the day, as it's happy and healthy people that solve the world's most pressing problems, we are directly impacting every single sustainable development goal. We also won this year's Commonwealth Digital Health Award and raised a million dollars in seed funding. We charge a monthly subscription of $3 per user. And even at these rates, we can still operate at a net profit margin of over 35%. We will be raising $5 million in six months' time to launch in three Indian cities and impact 9,000 lives a day. We are currently building relationships with investors who have deep expertise and knowledge of the Indian healthcare market. Our team is full of superstars, but as we are a tech company, let me just focus on my childhood friend and CTO, the guy in the red shirt. He has a master's from MIT and a PhD from Stanford. He previ previously built an app for the blind that made Braille typewriters obsolete overnight. He also wrote the first AI stock trader for Goldman Sachs. And I keep telling him that he's our weakest link. We would like to uh, leverage on the credibility and network that comes with winning slash GIA. Thank you. All right. Awesome. That's a good end. And let's see if you're actually going to win it. Let's move on to the jury. So question about the product. Yes. You have a platform. You have uh, people needing healthcare and doctors connecting them through the platform? Exactly. Or what's the, the, the user pays $3? Or the doctor who... Sorry, it's the user that pays $3. Okay. But right now, we found most traction in the B2B market, where the employer pays $3 on behalf of their employees. Okay. Yes. I was, I was just wondering about the financial sustainability. You were just saying you're raising $5 million yes. to reach 9,000 more people in these Indian cities. That's exactly. almost $600 per person only to connect to the doctor yes. who's paying for that in the long run. I mean, when no further investments coming in then later and who's paying the doctors, they are probably not giving the service for free. Sorry, yes. So uh, the doctors right now in Sri Lanka actually uh, earn double of what they normally get. Uh, the doctor per consultation gets about $12. Uh, and as the utilization uh, of uh, the employee, employees is about 20% at any given time, so the doctor gets $12, $12 but the platform costs $600 per user in the investment. That's 9,000 9, people per day. per day. Yes. So how many mental illness cases do you have in Sri Lanka? Uh, so in Sri Lanka, it has the, highest suicide rate, uh, the fourth highest suicide rate in the world. And even in India, or the global statistic is one in five face a mental health illness uh, a year. And in developing countries, it's even more than that. So the market is huge. Hey, great, great pitch. And uh, you mentioned the fact that you were tailoring to the SDGs. 
sustainable development goals, yes. and you mentioned that you have a focus on all of them. Yes. Are there a few that you are more emphasis on? Uh, so it would be number three, uh, which was uh, uh, global uh, healthcare and uh, uh, e e equality as well. Yeah, number three would be the primary focus. Thank you for your presentation. Um, if I would like to expound on your ask, because you're just asking for five million, just five million. <laughs> if you could explain a little bit beyond the money, what are you after else? Yes. Because you have a world stage here for people who could be interested in your idea, but they need to also understand what there is behind that. What, how can they work with you and impact what you're doing? Of course. So uh, right now, since we are in a tiny market uh, like Sri Lanka, we would uh, like to get investors who understand India, because we don't at the moment, and also who have the contacts who can uh, build, so we can build the right partnerships with the regulators, uh, as well as the payment platforms that's required to customize in a, in a country like that. India, because it's closer to your market? Or? Uh, not only that it's close, it's very similar market-wise, uh, as it's a self-pay market. Uh, and primary uh, healthcare is uh, paid for uh, by individuals, uh, and culturally also it's very similar. So, but by building your platform and and having a reach, you can go really really wide. So why are you just specifically going to the okay. one market? So we think this is going to have have a very localized solution. For example, we have to build an electronic medical record system behind this that caters to. Uh, doctors in developing markets where uh, they, they are used to just writing uh, all their notes on a piece of paper. To get them to move on to a computer, it needs to be much more simpler than the electronic med medical records that are the big names out there in the Western markets. Brilliant. And with that, we have to end. Thank you so much, Hashem Fernando Odog from Sri Lanka, ladies and gentlemen.